A lot of times people ask, you know, what is state of the art? Or what is the cutting edge in technology? And I'd have to say Tracer's right on that by any definitions you want to use with it because they're leading the way in the technology to analyze movement and in a different way that we've analyzed movement. If people look at this in the past, the traditional ways that we've done this or looked at movement, it's been with cameras, either just static pictures, video cameras where we get two-dimensional views of things, and then into big motion capture systems where we use marker sets and all kinds of different angles of cameras. Now, the thing that Tracer's done, which is state-of-the-art, is think outside the box. And there's other ways to capture this. And one of the, the beauties of the Tracer system is we can get all this same information, but they use basically infrared, much like a rangefinder on a camera would be, to basically capture the body or capture the movement within the system and then give us real-time data on it. So when we say what's state-of-the-art or what's technology, they're definitely leading the way in the development of how we look at movement. If we can't measure it, then we can't certainly train it, we can't treat it, we can't do things. So measurement's ultimately the, the, the key to everything we do. It's the benchmark. So for example, if I don't know what the dysfunction is or I don't know what the, the measurement is that I'm trying to improve, it's just a shotgun approach. We throw all kinds of things at you and maybe you'll start moving better. So I like to think of it as we, we can't really improve what we can't measure. Tracer provides us a mechanism that finds, uh, provides us with the valuable data and ultimately then as we sort of started with this, it's measuring what matters. Well, we, we're finding out what matters and now I can benchmark it against all my interventions. Number one, I think the big aha moment with the, the technology as it comes to the table and gets exciting is how they do it. Because it's kind of an outside the box way of thinking. Secondly, is looking at the information that it provides us. And now the sky's the limit because really the goal of everything you do, whether it be a rehabilitation or it be performance training that we're working toward, is based on movement, optimizing movement. That's, that's the key. It doesn't matter how strong I make a muscle. It doesn't matter how much my joint moves through a range of motion. All those things are important, but optimizing movement patterns are what makes a great athlete or makes somebody able to return to function in their home. Well, there's lots of ways we can look at things, but traditional ways of measuring involve lots of time. So while some of these tools that are out there that we've used are very accurate and provide valuable information, it takes hours to analyze where I can just do a couple minutes with the tracer, get information, and provide me uh, immediate feedback as to how well somebody moves, and not only just how somebody moves, but I can look at how well somebody moves forward right, forward left, backward right, backward left, lateral right, lateral left. So in a very short order of time, I get all this information, and then the nice piece about this is, not only can I use the tracer to assess and find out where the problems are, I can also use it to train, because then I can cue the machine or cue things to force you to move into the patterns that you're having difficulties with. When we talk about tracer, and you can sort of see the passion and excitement I have today. The interesting thing is, it's the same excitement I had with this product 30 years ago. When I first saw it and realized, these guys are on to something. Now granted, as I say, it's just a simple disc and we can do simple little jump tests, and it's evolved into something now where we're looking at what really matters. And we're being able to, we can measure what really matters, and that's movement. And that's ultimately everything, no matter what we're working on or whatever a person's disability, whatever their impairments are they have, the baseline of what we're trying to do is improve movement or optimize movement. It's a tool for the lifespan. It's from a cradle to grave type of thing. And what I mean by that is, in my career that I've used various versions of Tracer and I've played with this looking at movement, first of all, once we get upright and you're standing on two feet, movement is movement. It's the same across the lifespan. So when we look at a span of who would this be appropriate for, I've used the Tracer and tested people as young as four years of age, and I've actually had an individual on the Tracer who was 102. Movement's movement. When somebody's injured, somebody has a dysfunction, and we go to rehab and we work on it, a lot of things we do on a day-to-day -day basis with rehabilitation is relatively boring. The nice thing about Tracer is it's fun. It's fun and it's functional. Actually, the first three letters of functional is fun. It's fun when the people get on this, and they, it's hard to get them off sometimes because they challenge themselves. We work against various things with this. It's like playing a video game while we're training for a specific impairment, and it actually is video-based, obviously, we're doing this, but the key to success is compliance. You have to have a compliant patient, and you have to have a motivated patient. And by giving the feedback in this format and working through this, 
getting compliance and motivation is not a problem because they always want to beat either the high score of somebody else because we know what they are or they're going to, they know what they did the previous sessions and they always want to beat that. So some of the various training strategies, strategies that are built into the system lends itself nicely to giving you instant feedback and instant motivation which is the, ultimately the key to success. The theme that they use, that Trazer uses, is measure with matters. And I can tell you that is highly appropriate because the whole goal of everything that we do with rehabilitation is optimizing movement patterns. And that allows us to do that to both assess so we can treat what we find to be dysfunctional and then optimize those same movement patterns. So that whole thing, measure with matters, is 100% spot on with the goal of what we try to do in the big picture of rehabilitation. The whole concept with Tracer has been around for a number of years and the fun thing to work with this company and see how the company progresses is the evolution of product. They've led the way every step of the process. Now there's other people trying to do the same thing and there's a lot of individuals trying to measure movement and look at it, but they're always one step behind what Tracer has been doing. So they really have been the pioneer and on the cutting edge of the, the future or the frontier of looking at movement. The Tracer is a tool that we can measure movement parameters and ultimately optimize those same movement parameters. We can't fix what we can't measure. If we don't know what's out there, then it's almost like it doesn't exist. We've got to put a value on it. The Tracer provides us that ability where we can measure what matters, then go ahead with regards to, we can measure what matters with regards to movement and then optimize those movement patterns.